Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Half-Life walkthrough for the PC, played on the Difficult Difficulty. This is the original 1998 release. I'm Big Mac Davis and this is Part 2, Anomalous Materials. Alright, let's move forward. Anomalous Materials Well now, welcome to Black Mesa, everybody. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. So we need to go get our hazard suit on, so that we can make our way down to the test labs. Alright, so like that's our first objective of this game. And that's Barney Calhoun, the security officer for Black Mesa. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Can we do this later? Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Hey, catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. Okay, but you owe me a beer, Barney. You can also talk to the scientists. Excuse me, Jordan, but I'm rather busy now. But they don't want to be bothered right now. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? <laughs> Black Mesa Research Facility. It's a map of the world, and if you notice, there's a white dot hovering over New Mexico in the U.S., that represents Black Mesa, the base you are in. So that's kind of cool how they did that. Black Mesa Facility, Sector C. We started, or we emerged from the tube, in the top right section of this map, and we need to make our way down to the oval-shaped area above Sector. So that's our inevitable destination in this section. You can head over here to this machine and press the button. This is all within theoretical limits. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. But this is more or less just for the giggles. Not really important. <laughs> you can go around the desk for even more giggles. And look, there's a button no, down there. Did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? My oh, hey, God, what are you doing? Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? <laughs> That's always fun to do. Upset Barney a little bit. Anyway, not much else we can do here, so let's move on. Research, you know development, personnel facilities. All right, let's continue. You can head left in this door if you want. And it's a computer room, it looks like. Greetings. Good morning, Gordon. Good morning. Big day today, Freeman. A big day, huh? The sample was just delivered to the test chamber. A sample in the test chamber. All right, I'll head down there then. This is a first aid machine. It will come in real handy later on in this game, but not right now because we can't use it. There's nothing else you can do in this room, so let's just continue on out of this room. You repeat yourself sometimes. We'll follow the red stripe down the hallway. And oh my goodness, there is the G-Man talking with a scientist. We can't hear what they're saying, but they are talking with each other. That is rather curious, if I do say so myself. Too bad we can't go into the door, but... That's still curious nonetheless. The next room. There's nothing much in here except for periodic table of elements. <laughs> and there's a math problem on the board that I can't solve. Have you been able to get the beverage machine to work yet? The beverage machine? Perhaps. So it's broken? Well, that's a pity. Over here is a light switch that you can play with. <laughs> My God, what are you doing? 
I'm not doing anything. I'm just having fun. <laughs> um, aren't you supposed to go turn on the light? There you go. All displacement modulators were tuned today, weren't they? I better not do it again. He'll probably even get more upset with me. So let's just continue on. Sector B Coolant Reserve Facility. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. You can't let me through there? Oh, that's too bad. Ah, authorized personnel only. I guess we're not authorized enough. So let's just backtrack the way we came. And then follow the blue and green stripe down the ramp. And we'll take the right path first and follow the green line. No smoking area. Greetings. Whoops. Um, I guess the soda machine's broke, huh? Yes. This all hey, there's a soda down there. Hey, I, I get free soda. How cool is that? Even more free soda from that one. <laughs> and there's a microwave here. With someone's delicious dinner inside. Let's see if I can fix that. My god, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm such an ass. Um, this will be referenced in Half-Life 2 Episode 2 way later on in a different game, and you'll see that when we get there way later on. Nothing else to do in this cafeteria area, so let's move on. Authorized personnel only. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I don't know, but you do look ridiculous in that tie. Notice the lockers. Wood. Odd. Bond. Backman. Lore. These are all members of Valve, by the way. Stelly. Mark Laidlaw. Dario Casali. Yes, indeed. His name is on a locker. Coomer. Blackwell. Jones. Guthrie. Riller. Teasley. Bailey. Johnson. And Freeman. That is our locker, but we will get to it shortly. For right now, we'll head left. And there is our hazard suit inside that tube. So, let's flip the switch and let's get that hazard suit on. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection system activated. Munition level monitoring activated. Communications interface online. Have a very safe day. Alright, we have the hazard suit on. This will protect us from dangerous elements. Now the Freeman locker. That is our locker, so let's go ahead and open it up. That is an armor battery down there. Power 10%. We now have 10 armor. And there's a book inside here. The 37th Mandela by Mark Laidlaw. And a picture of a little baby, but I don't know who that is. And a blue shirt for Gordon Freeman to wear. The bathroom area. Because I'm a pervert, let's look to see who's using it. There's two people inside. <laughs> they don't want to be bothered, and I don't blame them. You can't use this oh, sink, but you can use the um, automatic hand dryer. So yeah, kind of cool. Another health machine, which we can't use, but keep mind of it for later on. Anyway, nothing else to do here, so let's just backtrack all the way right here and follow the blue stripe now down this hallway. Hello. Looks like you're in the barrel today. I'm in the barrel today, huh? 
I guess that's fancy talk for test chamber. Let's head inside. We have some interesting pictures on the wall here. Black Mesa. That's a picture of the New Mexico desert where Black Mesa is located. Safety. That is a robotic arm fixing a machine or whatever it is. Kind of cool. Black Mesa Security Force. Hydroelectric Dam. Yes, Black Mesa has a dam, which I find is rather cool. Black Mesa Security Force. Yes, indeed. Black Mesa topside temperature is 93 degrees. 93 degrees. I can't do a voice like that. Kind of cool, though. And there's a helicopter. It says Army on it. Yes, the U.S. government is involved with this installation. And there's a car that we took to work in. So, yeah. That is all kind of cool. Working as a team. Technology. Yes, that is a robot. That is kind of cool there. Working as a team. Hmm. Good memories. Anyway, press the elevator switch, and uh, we're now free to use it. And if you want to be a boss, you could take this ladder down to your destination, but we're going to do it the intended way and take the elevator. You could take this ladder down even further, but there's nothing down there. Absolutely nothing. So let's just continue on. That looks to be like lasers in there. I wonder, wonder what they're doing in there. Control room, test lab access, plasma cells, ionization chambers. Interesting. Let's continue on. Kind of interesting stuff to look at on the way but not much to look at. Apparently here, I guess they're pressurizing water? I don't know, but that looks to be the case because of the steam being produced. Control room. Ah, it's good to see you. Ah, Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. So, they're overworking their machines because the administrator went to great lengths to get this sample. I see. Interesting. You can see the test chamber from here. That is a rather cool looking device and we'll get to use it. Yes we will in an upcoming, well very shortly actually. Let's just get going. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Looks like we're overworking our computers, guys. It, that's never a good thing. But oh well, I guess it's safe enough. I don't know what these things are at the moment, but I guess we'll find out what they are. But they do look kind of cool. And let's take this elevator up. Or down, rather. Test lab, that's where we want to go. There's nothing off to the left, so don't bother with that. So let's just head down to the right. Test lab, all right. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yeah, it's but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. 
Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Hmm, so we're a bit worried about this sample, and I'm getting a bit worried too, but I... I think they know what they're doing. This is the test chamber, everybody, and that is the testing machine. If you fall in the middle there, you'll die, but you can look into it if you want. Kinda cool machine around here. Testing? Testing? <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Okay, so we need to go up this ramp and then up this ladder to start the rotors. And there's the switch. Gordon, are you not hearing me? Climb up and start the rotors, please. I'm going to, right now. All right. And they're powering up now. Let's go down and watch the show. Sure hope this works. The test, that is. And there's the sample. That crystal needs to be pushed into the beam so that the scientists can study it. So, we'll follow orders and let's just push this into the nexus beam. Shouldn't be too hard of a feat. Oh! What's going on? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, this is not good. We need to get out of here. What the heck are those things? Where am I? Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Oh no. What have we done? 